parang marami ka nang na, na, nakikita na uh, signals and kapag marami na siya na ipakita sa'yo na um, gesture, pag switch siya, pag parang boyfriend na siya, I think that's when you ask. Kasi tama lang din na alam mo kung saan kayo. Tama yung sinabi ni Maris, but to me, more important than the label is kung ano yung usapan yung dalawa. Right. Uh, more than just a label. Kasi minsan merong mag-boyfriend-girlfriend, pero even dun sa label na yun, ano, ano ba? Ano ba yung usapan natin? Right. Uh, pressure. Siguro ang initial was... Uh, siguro... Uh, if I'm gonna be honest, I was excited na... Kasi I'm curious, di ba? We've... Uh, it, I'm curious, like how we've always watched uh, films, series together, and we're both really we're serious, eh, when it comes to the craft. So, <laughs> nag-usap kami na mga anong tingin mo, ginawa ni Al Pacino do, nagaling ni ano ganon. So, next sight ako na okay, now we're gonna be able to work together. So, yun ang isa. And in terms of pressure, siguro ano lang. Kasi medyo matagal na yung last time that I acted. So, and I know si Maris medyo hasa. And I really am a fan of her work. Objectively speaking, no, as an actress. Mm-hmm. And I tell her all the time. Kasi I'm very honest, especially the closer you are to me, I'm more honest to you. So, when she does well, I really tell her. Diba? And so, alam ko hasa siya, kumbaga. And then ako... Kinakabahan ako nung start. Sabi ko, baka nagbago na. Nagbago na ba yung language sa set? Nagbago na yung, I'm sure yung technology nagbago na. Yung mga ilaw, yung mga, yung mga ganun. Mga lente, mga camera. So, yun lang, dun lang MJ. Dun lang right. ako medyo na pressure. Uh, si Rico naman, hindi naman siya BS talaga. Uh, sasabihan, kanya talaga ng totoo. So, I really appreciate yung sinabi niya kanina. And, um, ano ko yan eh, um, aside from myself, he's my number one critic. So, <laughs> um, binibigyan niya ako ng mga comments and all, so I take that to heart. But, um, naiintindihan ko naman yung iba pag hindi niya gusto yung gawa ko. <laughs> but like, uh, I appreciate ko. Thanks for always, ano, being honest. <laughs> right. Pala. Maris, naalala pa namin yung kilig mo noong kinuwento mong magkakakollaborate kayo ni Rico for a song. Noong mga time ba na yun, masasabi mong crush mo na siya or may hope ka ba na nararamdaman for the two of you then? Paano nga ba na-develop ang feelings? Ano, i- oh. Stop ko ba muna video ko? Ano ba? <laughs> Dala. Stop! Huwag <laughs> makinig. Go, go. go. <laughs> well, sa akin naman, at that time, wala naman po akong any... Um, assumption or kung anong mangyari. Kinilig lang ako sa fact na nakakolab ko si Rico as Rico Blanco, yung isa sa mga um, idol ko sa OPM. And yun lang po talaga yung kilig ko. Wala na po. Anything mm-hmm. more, wala na po. When did you realize that you have feelings for her? Wow. And how would you describe Marius as a girlfriend? <laughs> Um, this is the first time we're gonna hear Kate. you answer. Yeah. Oh my God. Is it? Oh, is it? Oh. Ah, s- ah, talaga? Sige, sige. Ah, hindi naman ako, ano eh, hindi naman ako nagtatago ng anything except, oh nga no, baka ito lang yung first opportunity. <laughs> ano, parang, parang nag, ano lang siya eh, big, nag-creep up. Like, like, we're trying to find out kami ni Maris some time ago, no? Kaya, how did it happen? It's parang little by little lang eh. Uh, and I think it was, I don't know, I think sh- somewhere after our, definitely not the first time I met her. Definitely not uh, when we were working on the song and uh, recording. Um, I take pride kasi in my professionalism in the studio, diba? No matter if I think the person I'm working with is attractive or not, diba? Or, or, or even on, on the set, even uh, sa when I'm doing acting or, you know, I, I take pride in my professionalism. So, wala eh. And then, I think it's it's sometime after we're done. I think when we were done working on the song, I think it was just 
sa mga talks namin siguro yeah right ikaw na <laughs> text like a text ka parang ganyan hey how are you aga yan yeah, nagkukumustahan kami uh, Pasensya ka na rin. Oh, no. DM yata. DM yata. Yan na, ay, wag na. Stop. Oh, parang ganun. <laughs> Maris naman. Ito naman, minsan lang namin makakwentuhan si Rico. Ikaw talaga. Talaga. Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> syempre, kinikilig yung mga tao kasi nga, you know, we understand that these are private moments between the two of you, you know, but hearing some parts of it and you sharing some slices of it <laughs> makes us, ano, kilig because um, mihira namin narinig si Rico sharing yung mga <laughs> yeah <laughs> how is how you describe Maris as a girlfriend daw I, I don't like to when I say when I give siguro uh, when I siguro when I mention positive traits of Maris as a girlfriend this is by no means uh, I'm uh, I mean I'm I'm putting down naman yung mga exes ko or other girlfriends out there, no? Uh, hindi naman. Ang bawat tao naman ay may magagandang and unique traits and right. good traits about them. Ang gusto ko kay Miss, ano eh, she, may, she doesn't even realize it, but nakaka-happy eh, yung vibe niya. It's, it's uh, something that's, I think, normal to them, magkakapatid. Um... Because I hung out with the sisters also and the, the family and, and even with my sister's mom and parang that's the vibe there. Eh. Parang barkada. It, it's like same vibe when you're hanging out with you know your your friends. So parang ganon and and um, it's really like that. Kahit kami dalawa lang. Of course, there are days na lahat naman ng tao. There are days when we're down, de ba? Right. And and happens to her happens to me too but like in general parang yung ang positive nung ano eh. so i think yung vibe it it brings out the best in me yung positive side ko nalalabas din kasi minsan nakakalimutan ko din na i'm playful pala i'm you know there's a bit of like childlike yung fun mm-hmm. in every person and then she brings that out No matters what can you say naman kay Rico. Para lang equal tayo. Well, <laughs> para sa akin, si Rico, um, ewan ko, if yung presence ko to him is like um, fun, happy vibes, sa akin talaga is, bahay nga, <laughs> it's like, security but i feel safe when he's around and that's what i like may kanta siyang ganyan may kanta siyang ganyan i don't i don't song i would be um you know ba but like yes uh parang um safe safe it eh, safe talaga yung feeling ko pag ganyan si Rico and like feeling ko kapag any kind of problem or overthinking pag sinasabi ko sa kanya he always gives this logical reason kung bakit ko nararamdaman and like unti-unti kong na na naiintindihan yung self ko and yung whatever i was thinking and you and like i um gusto ko na may ganun sa buhay ko and i like to keep that around okay <laughs> Uh, next question mula naman kay Alan Sancon ng Stars Photog. Marius, question niya is, correct me if I'm wrong, this is the first press ko na magkasama kayo because of one project together. Kinabahan ka ba sa maaaring itanong ng press sa inyo tungkol sa inyong relasyon? At ano yung tanong na kinakabahan kang itanong ng press tungkol sa inyo? <laughs> Grabe yung question niya, no, Alan? Medyo, Grabe po. May wordplay yun, ha? Yes. Uh, para sa akin naman, um, uh, Ever since, uncomfortable po talaga ako pag-usapan yung mga relationship. Mm-hmm. Kasi, hindi, hindi po ako sa... That. Yes, and hindi po talaga ako sanay. So, nung... Uh, um, we kept it as a secret po muna yung relationship na, namin. Kasi, honestly, hindi pa talaga ako ready. And then, yung time na, okay, I think I'm ready na. I think okay na ako i-post si Rico and all. 
um, nakalimutan ko yung press and yung questions and stuff. So, yung mga after ko mag-post nun, and then I've had um, mga press con for MMK, nakalimutan ko na, oh my God, itatanong nga pala ako. Like, di ba, ang haba ng pandemic, we all think like, ang, ano ng buhay, parang, hindi mo na nakikita yung mga tao. So, feeling mo, wala nang ganung factor. But like, mm-hmm. nung natanong ako for the first time about relationship since like forever, parang yung kaba ko parang hindi ko makontain kasi ito yung pressure ko dati. So, siguro yung mga tanong na kinakabahan ako is like, ma'am, paano nag-start? Mga ganun. Right. Kasi and, hindi talaga ako comfortable sabihin yung mga important details. And, you know, sometimes there are things na gusto ko i-keep as private. That's But, correct. Okay, I, I don't know. Like, time will come comfortable ako sabihin. Right. <laughs> well, para sa akin, uh, at first, uh, it felt really strange to be working with Rico sa it's the same set. Kasi sanay ako sa kanya as him and like hindi ako sanay na umaarte siya na ibang ibang tao or nag-acting siya parang hindi ko to boyfriend. <laughs> parang ganun yung feeling but ganun na siguro sa first scenes ng mga na-shoot namin but like nung um, nagtuloy-tuloy na comfortable ako, super comfortable ako. Parang Ah, kaya pala ang saya ng mga mag-jowa pag nasa set sila. <laughs> kasi masaya. Kasi andyan yung boyfriend nila. Okay, ganito pala kasaya yun. Parang, oh my gosh, I'm missing out. <laughs> Finally, meron na akong ano, pa-excelle na boyfriend ko. So, that makes me very happy. <laughs> so, ibig sabihin ba nito, we would see more acting projects ninyong dalawa together? Open kayo doon? Yes, open na yeah, po kami. Um, I think napapag-usapan namin yung Rico yun. What mm-hmm. if like, mas mahaba na na taping? Kak- kakayanin kaya natin to and all. Mag- masasanay ba tayo sa taping life? Kasi sanay po kami na like, nasa labas po talaga yung trabaho. Wala kami, ano, uh, puro lang kami music. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. may mga, ano din kami, hesitations or like, kinakatakutan. But, I think nung nangyari yung The Good Bye Girl na wala lahat yun. Like, nice. sobrang comfortable pala katrabaho si Rico. Inaasar ka ni Loy sa kahapon eh. <sighs> parang nag-aasaran oh, daw okay. kayo na para oy, happy for you! May kasama ka na sa set. <laughs> Ganyan ka dyan. <laughs> Ayun na nga! Kasi, ito yung sinasabi ko kay Loy sa nung nag-taping ka. Loy, sa- saya pala, no? Kapag ka-excena mo yung boyfriend, sabi niya, di ba? Ang saya! <laughs> <laughs> Grabe, sana all may ka-eksenang ano, uh, jowa, di ba? So what is your secret to your strong relationship as a couple? Wow. wow. Uh, actually, nagugulat lang din kami dalawa talaga eh. I, I don't think, kasi ako, all these years, I thought na talagang kailangan ng ganitong level of hard work And I've, I've, I've been in relationships na talagang tumagal because of hard work from both sides. Right. And I thought, because you hear it all the time, it's a lot of work. But parang for us, we're surprised kasi it does take work, but I'll be really honest, it's not so hard. So I, I, I don't know. I don't know the answer is just, I don't know what the secret is. Siguro, um, siguro finding someone that honestly, you'd be honest siguro sa pag, paghanap mo ng partner, pagpili or pagkilatis mo ng potential partner. And siguro be honest to yourself because I think that's what we both were prior to us being together. I was already so... Um, honest about what kind of person I am and I felt that you know so kilala ko siya so nung dumating si Marisa eto ako eto siya yun baka yung honesty before kayo mag get together kasi minsan di ka honest okay. sa sarili mo no this is gonna work with this person kahit na i-ignore mo yung mga areas na hindi kay bagay tas sweep mo lang under the rug feeling ko baka yun but I'm no expert you know, MJ, to find someone like Maurice this, at this point in my life lang, I'm not, probably not the expert. 
<laughs> but I'm the expert on, I guess, not saying never. Although I did say never, but Maurice changed my mind. <laughs> huh? Nung yeah. ano, MJ, nung medyo bago-bago kami, kinakabahan kami. Sabi ko, uy, hindi pa tayo nang gaaway. <laughs> Hala, kailan tayo. Tapos, ang tagad sa sabi niya, bakit mo ba iniintay yung mag Sabi ko, hindi ka pa nagtataka. Sabi ko, so, I don't know, we're just as, ano, we're still in the journey, you know, MJ, so, uh, we have a lot of ways to grow pa. Diba? Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. And that's, we want to enjoy that. Okay po. Hello sa lahat ng mga nanonood ngayon. Thank you, thank you so much for your time and for tweeting. Um, sana abangan niyo po itong napakagandang um, limited series na ito. Ngayong Feb, I- Feb Ibig, muling huhugot ang mga single. Grabe na pinag-uusapan natin kanina, puro kaleng. Tapos ito mga single para. Pero I know may mga nakaka-relate dyan. Abangan niyo po itong... Knowing guys, the Goodbye Girl this streaming this coming February 14 to February 19, 8 p.m. on I Want TFC. This is produced by ABS-CBN Entertainment, Dreamscape, and Clever Minds. And of course, Rico, you want to take it away? Yeah, this is directed by uh, Derek Cabrido, and it's based on again, it's based on the best-selling book by Noreen Kapili. Um, Six episodes po ito. So, mag-start ng Feb 14 hanggang Feb 19, as Maurice mentioned. Mm-hmm. I think um, you should watch all the episodes. Ours is, pro- is going to be on the 17th. 17th. Yeah, yes. but like, uh, maganda panoorin nyo lahat para yeah. konektado kasi siya. Uh, right. mm-hmm. yeah. 